and I got some juicy couture jewelry. What do you know? Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my favorite color is pink and I film all kinds of girly beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Did we like the little twist to the intro? I kind of like it better. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Today, I know you guys miss this, but I have a girly haul for you and today's haul is actually a bunch of like home things because I've been needing stuff for a new place and I was dying to go check out like the Burlington and Ross's around here because there's just so many they're so much bigger and more stocked up from what I've seen not all of them some of them are not more stocked up a lot of them are more stocked up I went to like a couple different ones of each and we got to the goods let's go ahead and do a little haul I found a lot of pink stuff cute stuff I'm excited and I've been waiting I've been like I stashed this stuff in a corner haven't used any of it just so I can film a haul and I want to film the haul so I can use this stuff because I'm excited for it so let me show you guys what I got a lot of energy today don't know what's going on I am happy because um, not to ramble really quick but I was going through a hormonal imbalance which makes me very lethargic and tired and so me having all this energy is like I'm happy I'm happy because whatever I'm doing is working and um, let's get started. I didn't have a single cup of coffee today either, so I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. So I guess I'll start off with what I got at Home Goods just because I don't remember what I got at Home Goods, so I kind of want to find out what did I get. Oh, okay, okay. So I know what I got now. So I got a bath mat, not the most interesting thing. It was six dollars, but you know. So we're not slipping and sliding in the shower but yeah i got a little match for the shower bath floor and yeah not very interesting they didn't have pink or else i would have gotten a pink one but next the next thing i got is pink i got these organizers you guys have seen these before i've hauled these before um, when i was in texas and um, i just really like these i actually ended up using them because i have like a little drawer i organized i don't know if you guys watched my closet video if you didn't see that video of me organizing my closet i'm gonna link it down below you should totally watch it it's like you guys have already seen this stuff so it's not that interesting but i promise you if you stay till the end i'm gonna save the best for last so stay till the end also at the end of the video i leave some emojis somewhere in the end of the video so if you catch them if you catch the emojis comment them down below um you're the real mvp because that means you watch the whole video and that's freaking awesome thank you so much if you do so yes i got these organizers because i used up all the ones i had i usually use these for makeup but i used up all the ones i had for my little i have a drawer where i have like a purse refill station i'm gonna have to do more tiktoks reels and like youtube videos like you know kind of filling up my bag and stuff so you guys can see what that looks like because it's such a cute idea and i did show it in that um closet organization video if you guys are interested in like taking a little peek at it yeah i got more of the organizers that i used in those drawers just to like restock on them because currently my makeup is like not organized so we need to organize my makeup there will be a video in the future of me organizing my makeup i just haven't gotten around to it I've been having a little bit of a hectic schedule, um, lots of things happening like my brush set launch so yes we haven't gotten to it yet but there will be a video of me organizing my vanity one of these days it's been raining on and off so one of these rainy days we'll make a cup of coffee and organize all my makeup i hope you guys will join me to do that so it looks like that's everything i got at home goods so i'm gonna show you guys what i got at ross the one little teeny bag um i didn't get that much at ross i did get this this is a potato peeler we just really needed a potato peeler so i got this pink one it's a rotating potato peeler or it's just a rotating peeler you can peel carrots vegetables cucumbers potatoes you peel all the stuff with this so you can peel everything and then we already opened this one but this is a knife sharpener and it's just a pink and gray knife sharpener so yeah and i got some juicy couture jewelry what do you know i'm obsessed actually for the launch i was wearing a juicy couture charm bracelet and one of the girls pointed it out she's like is that juicy i'm like yes girl we had to throw something juicy on i'm gonna show you guys the jewelry i found i never like almost never found jewelry in my hometown i would really have to hunt for it like everything i collected i really like 
I went multiple times. The Ross in Beverly Hills, so it was like, I don't know why that Ross was so stocked up because I went to a different Ross somewhere else. I think it was in Santa Anita or something. I don't even remember why we were there. Oh yeah, we were there to check out Ikea, which ended up not even being Ikea, but I'm not gonna get into that. But yeah, um, they had a bunch of juicy jewelry, the most I've ever found at one time. I got this pair of earrings. It was $6.99. It has the cute little pearls all around it. I absolutely freaking love these and I love earrings like this that are not like too much because my ears I don't know why I can't I'm not a big earring person if you ever see me wearing big earrings um, I'm probably only gonna wear them a couple hours <laughs> or three at most and uh, or maybe it's like for a night out or just to make the outfit I will suffer you know if it makes that outfit cute <laughs> but usually I don't prefer super large earrings unless they're really thin um weightless hoops i like hoops okay so i also got this pair of earrings and these are pink and they say juicy and cursive they're little circles again this is the kind of earrings i like kind of smaller not too heavy okay the next pair of earrings these are dangly and i will suffer for these when you see how cute like Actually, these don't even feel that heavy, but look how cute they are. They have a little crown and they're little hearts and they have like the rhinestones. I am living for these. These would be cute with what I'm wearing right now, actually. I love how big our earrings look. I just wish my ears wouldn't cry when I wear them. Like, I'm gonna take off these price tags because like we don't need those anymore. I keep them on their little cases and then I wear them and then I just put them back. So yeah. The jewelry piece I found is a bracelet and I thought this was so cute. It says juicy and it has pink rhinestones all over the juicy part and it's just gold. See it a lot better without the price tag but that was $8.99. That was the most expensive piece I believe. So the earrings were $6.99. It's everything I picked up at Ross. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up at Burlington. Put things for last. I'm going to save a juicy item for last. I'm going to show you everything else. And then the juicy item will be last. It's really cute. It's really, really cute. So out of everything I have in my kitchen, I don't own any like shot glasses. I don't really drink that much. Like it has to be a special occasion like you know my brush launch or like something like that but i do like to entertain people and if they want a shot i got these and like you can use these for other things not just shots obviously but these are like little little shot glasses and they're pink they're really cute they match some of my other like dishes that i have um this one's kind of falling out so i'm just gonna take it out these were 5.99 for all of them and so yeah, these are just shooters, shot glasses, same thing. And it's the Thalia Sodi brand, which the Thalia Sodi brand has a lot of pink stuff at Burlington. If you guys are not aware, they have a lot of pink home stuff from that brand. So the next thing I got is an organizer. I got this specifically for my coffee drawer because this looks like it's like the exact size of the drawers in my kitchen. So if I would have found more than this one, I would have probably got them for the rest of the drawers, like my utensils and things. But I think this will be perfect for my coffee drawer. Like I feel like I can put my pods like going down this, this way and then I can put like other things in this one, like maybe straws. That's mainly all I keep in my coffee drawer, just coffee and my straws for my tumblers. So yeah got this organizer it was $6.99 I think yes $6.99 I just couldn't help myself when I saw the end cap with all of these candles I just had to get them and here here's the thing it's I didn't get them just because they're pretty they smell amazing I was like okay I need those they're gonna be really cute on my coffee table or on my island like I just how adorable is this candle and I feel like one oh sorry it's kind of loud once i use this candle up i can keep the container to put things like i don't know like my cotton in the bathroom or something like extra cotton and it has the cutest little tag i don't even want to take it off i don't know what this brand is but it's so cute peony petal orchid is the name of this candle oh it's nanette lepore is the name of the brand 
This smells like really warm, cozy, vanilla-y, painy, like florally, but extremely warm and cozy and vanilla. Hence, it just smells so good. Like I want my entire place to always smell like this. This smells amazing. If you see these at your Burlington, just go give them a whiff and you probably won't be able to put it down because that's what happened to me. I was like, I actually wanted to get two or three of them, but I was like, no girl, calm down. Let's try one first. Two, actually, I got two because they're different scents. But I was like, just try these for now because you don't know how they're going to burn yet. So yeah, we're trying these out and if I love them, I'm snatching like backups because these were... $10 and it's a huge candle they were only $10 that's cheaper than a Bath and Body Works candle we love it ow 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 I just hurt my nail it hurts oh, oh that hurts so bad that hurts so bad guys I don't think the bad bitch life is for me I don't know how to like function with longer nails like and it's weird because i've had long nails like i do long press-ons and they're as long as this so i don't know what's going on i think i just i didn't do long nails for a long time when i was moving i was just like what's the point i'm gonna be like packing things i'm just gonna break them so i didn't get my nails done or do press-ons or long press-ons for a long time and now i don't know how to act so this one is the area Aronia Berry and Lavender. When I tell you this smells like spring, but oh my gosh, like it just, hold on, let me, let me. I think this one's my favorite. It smells kind of like, I don't know, that, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not even gonna say that because the other one smells really good too. This one is more of like a very uh, fruity, it's like a fruity spring scent and it just smells so good. Ironia berry and lavender so it does smell just like berries and lavender it's like exactly that description it's fruity because of the berries but it's kind of cozy in spring because of the lavender so it has like florally hints in there so it just smells so nice and these candles are different colors this is more of like a warmer pink and then the lavender one the lavender one is more of like a cooler pink there you go I think you guys can see it right there these are heavy these are heavy candles so be careful with them the next thing I picked up from Burlington was a towel so I've been using my juicy towels like crazy and they're kind of getting ugly already like maybe they're just not the best quality how long ago did I get those towels do you guys even remember I know I hauled them it was about nine months ago now so yeah they lasted me about nine months which i think is good enough i usually get a new towel or like i alternate my towels every year like i get new towels so i think that's decent i guess for the price that those towels were um they were really cute juicy towels though if you guys remember them they were cute juicy towels so yeah no i just needed a new towel this is the BB brand. BB makes really cute pink home decor and I love that this one had gold on it. So this is gonna match my bathroom better because the juicy towels were like a very um, Barbie pink. And so they don't really match the really soft light pinks that my bathroom has, like the rest of the decor. So this is gonna match so much better, like to have this hanging there. I might actually just use this as a decor towel and then just keep using my juicy towels. Cause really my favorite towels are from Target. I love the Target Threshold brand towels. They just last so long and they're so cozy and like so spongy. So those are my favorite towels. So I might just go get some Target towels and maybe keep this one as de de decoration. Like for when guests come, they can like dry their hands. We don't even have guests. Like we we haven't had a single guest um, since we moved in. Well, I lied. No, Amy came over two two or three weeks after we moved in. But uh, besides that, we don't we don't really have guests. <laughs> so I don't know. Hopefully, we'll have guests that can dry their hands on this towel. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so this was only six ninety nine. So I mean, to use as a decor towel, that's not a bad price to spend. I know towels can be pretty pricey. The ones I get from Target, the bath sheets are like twenty dollars a piece. So yeah next thing i got is another organizer i got this for my closet there's like a a like 
spot, a specific spot that I'm gonna use this for. And this was clearanced out for $4.99. So, I mean, that was a steal. I wasn't even, like when I grabbed it, I didn't even realize that it was actually on clearance. And this was the only one that they had or else I probably would have grabbed a couple more just in case. But yeah, I feel like this skinny type of basket, it's gonna be perfect. I'm either gonna use it in my closet to put like my hats because that just makes sense or I'm gonna use it in my bathroom to roll up towels. I don't know. Either way, I know I'll make use out of this organizer. I love the velvety pink. It's perfect shade of pink. So yeah. Okay, we're getting to the good parts now. I have three more things to show you guys. Two of them are juicy and one of them is just something that's just so cute. I would run and snatch it so fast. So I don't know about you guys, but laundry baskets are ugly. Like I have a hard time finding cute laundry baskets and usually the ones I find, they like bend over or fall over easily and lose their shape. So I found this one at Burlington and it's like a, like a metal like so it's not gonna lose shape ever and it's gold and then the inside lining like the bag is pink and this is gonna be perfect for doing laundry because i can also like take the bag out to carry the just the bag of clothes easily without the metal part so i just thought that was really versatile and handy and this was only $16.99 i don't know why laundry hampers are so expensive i was gonna get one on amazon and it was like $40 for laundry hamper and um, normally if I really like it I'll buy it but that's kind of a lot of money for a laundry hamper so I was really happy to find such a cute laundry hamper for $16.99 so holler at your Burlington because and it's a good size too which I liked it's like a good size it's like I don't know probably like two and a half feet three feet maybe Laundry Hamper is actually the BB brand as well. So BB is just out there killing it with all the cute pink home decor at Burlington. Okay, so the last two items, they're juicy. So ooh, this is really cute find. Like when does one find a cute fluffy pillow? Never, never. Pillows are usually kind of ugly. So I found this at Ross actually. I don't know why I thought I found this at Burlington. I put it in my Burlington pile. Actually from Ross, it was $14.99. Look how adorable this is. I'm like, girl, I'm about to burn this whole place down. The candle's like right here and I'm like, no, let's not put that plastic near the candles. So yeah, it's cute. It's leopard print. It was $15, what? I love the packaging. I love how it says love juicy right here. I don't know, Juicy Couture is just the whole vibe. I feel like if Bratz Dolls did a collab with Juicy Couture, that would go in like add to cart kind of day for me if they did that. So it's a leopard print and then it says juicy like on some parts of it. I don't know if you guys can like see it. I'm gonna like try to show you right here. It says juicy. Yeah, really cute, pink and white, and it's like super fluffy. It's so fluffy. It was like the fluffiest pillow in Ross. So if you like fluffy pillows, you're gonna love this pillow. And it's so cute. And I love that like when I put my pillowcase, if the pillowcase kind of slides off a little bit, it's still cute to look at. Because I used to have like a bamboo pillow. It was like green. It had green on it. And if the pink pillow cover like slid off of it it's like you know it's not it's not cute this is cute though and the last thing i got i didn't even need it like i mean i didn't need the jewelry either so like you know but whatever you guys know i just hunt down all the juicy stuff so the last thing i got is a pajama and okay i have a lot of juicy pajamas but this has to be hands down like the cutest one i've found ever it's really soft first of all it's really really soft and it has actual rhinestones on it which you guys know i love love it when it's like rhinestones like actual bedazzles and it has it on the pocket this is like um the jc and then i'm gonna zoom in or i'm gonna get close so do you guys see the quilting pattern on this it has like a quilted pattern with little crowns I'm gonna like, can I, 
Can, can you guys see it? It's so cute. Okay, let me zoom out. Back of it says juicy and rhinestones as well. A lot of the times you'll find these pajamas and it'll have like one thing but it won't say like when it says juicy in the back and rhinestones I'm sold sold add to cart so love it it has a little heart in it to see my back we love that yes it's cute this was $16.99 for the set like that's so inexpensive guys that's so cheap for a pajama set and then these are the bottoms it just has the jc and rhinestones here on this side and sadly the bag does not say juicy and rhinestones but the shirt does so that's good enough for me i guess like i mean it was 16.99 guys and it's so cute they didn't have a small so i got a medium and i think the pants might fit me big i'm looking at them like yeah they're gonna be a little bit loose but we can just like roll it up once well if i end up finding this in a size small i'll probably go ahead and grab it and you know i'll give the medium pants to my mom because i know these will fit my mom and i'll probably just give her the top two and i'll keep the small but i know the top will fit but the bottoms do look a little loose it says keep away from fire well that's scary <laughs> all right guys that's everything that i got for my little home haul for today don't forget if you saw the emojis throughout the video if you found them don't forget to leave them down below we're playing scavenger hunt with the emojis now <laughs> instead of putting them at the end we're playing scavenger hunt i have to find them throughout the video which i think is more fun that's more fun i think is if you stayed until the end go check out my instagram and my tiktok and my facebook i post on all of them i go live on tiktok and on facebook a lot i don't really go live on instagram that much anymore i just prefer tiktok to be honest and then i also like to go live on facebook because i have a lot of family and like people that only have facebook so i do facebook lives as well so if you guys are interested in that just make sure you guys go give me a little follow all right guys that's everything for today's video i love you and i will see you in the next one Mwah. bye